Hi guys, welcome to this wonderful Sunday morning. Jesus is alive, He rose from the dead. Let's listen together how that morning went. What happened on that Sunday morning was unimaginable. Who would have thought that the big, terrible news of Friday, the news that Jesus was crucified and died, would be overshadowed by even bigger news? News that the enormous stone was rolled away in front of the tomb. News that his tomb is empty and a body nowhere to be found. News that the disciples and more and more of Jesus' followers were no longer crying. On the contrary, their sadness was replaced with relief and excitement and the words, He is alive. Could it be? Would you believe it? A miracle. If it's is true, life looks different. The future looks different. The sad story of the crucifixion was not the end. Jesus appeared to them and showed them He is alive. The wonderful news of His resurrection spread. It's true, you know, people then and now testify that He is really alive and active at work in our world. Do you want to meet him again today, or perhaps for the first time? It is possible because he is alive and he is excited about a friendship with you. It has always been his plan to be in a relationship with his people. Listen to the events of that very special morning. Let's read from Matthew 28, verse 1 to 7. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The gods were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. How do we know that Jesus really rose from the dead? I wonder if you have asked that question. The cool thing is, it's not just the Bible that talks about the events of that morning. Sources other than the Bible also tell of the tomb being empty and that his body not being found. Many, many witnesses told of seeing Jesus alive after his death. And then there are years and years of stories of the miracles Jesus still performs. Jesus is really alive. You can believe it. If you're still not sure, just ask Jesus directly. Lord, show me that you are really alive and here. Even if it takes a while, I know Jesus will find a way to help you to believe. Jesus' resurrection means that we too have a life after death and that we can look forward to being with Jesus forever. We can already live as Jesus teaches us now and know what is difficult, sad or terrible now is not forever. Jesus' resurrection also means that a friendship with Him is possible. He's here to talk to, to sit with Him and cry with Him when you are sad, to share in your joy, to help you and show you how to live a good, healthy life and to love Him and be loved by Him. It's really special. Do you also want to share the good news like the disciples did? <laughs> this good news is not just a story. It's the truth that changes lives.
Let's pray together, friends. Lord, thank you so much that your story didn't end on Friday, that death didn't win, but that you rose, Lord, and that you are with us every single day. Thank you that we can have a friendship with you. Amen.